Hello, all of my lovely first grade friends. Welcome back to social studies class. So today I thought we would start off by being just a little bit silly. And I am going to show you a few pictures. Here's me as a dog, okay? I want everyone to put your little dog ears up and say, woof, woof. Go ahead, ready? Woof, woof. Okay, and then let me show you here our next picture. Oh, I'm a deer. I want everyone to pretend you're a deer and take your nose and I want you to maybe sniff the grass to look for some food. Okay, now I'm going to be a, a pig. Everybody make the sound that a pig makes. Ready, say, oink, oink. All right, and then I'm a cat. Say meow. Ready? Meow. All righty. Ooh, and now I'm a cow. Say moo. All right, I'm going to show you a few more pictures of animals. We've got lots of animals up here, like a turkey. We have a horse and a rabbit and a sheep. We've got a fox and a bear and a deer. Where might we find some of these animals? What do they all have in common? Where can they all be found? Take a guess, call it out right now. I'm gonna give you the answer soon. The answer is the countryside. So if you said the farm, you would be right. If you said the woods, you would also be right. And if you said, oh, out in the country, you would also be right. So today I'll be reading you a story that's called Country Places, and some of you might have already even read this book. I'm going to do a quick sneak peek. Look at the pictures and see what I'm noticing. All right, now that I've taken a sneak peek and I have a little bit of a prediction ready in my head, I'm going to start reading. Country Places. The country is outside the city. There are many places in the country. And look, you can see the city off in the distance over there. What is this place? It is a barn. Animals live in a barn. What is this place? It is a farmhouse. A family lives in the farmhouse. What is this place? It is a field. Corn grows in a field. Have any of you ever eaten corn before? Maybe you've even had the really delicious kind, popcorn. Mmm, I love popcorn. What is this place? It is a shed. Tools are kept in a shed. I know I have a shed at home and we keep lots of tools in our shed. What is this place? It is a pen. Pigs live in a pen. Hmm, friends, I wonder why those pigs have to live in a pen. What do you think might happen if there wasn't a pen or a little bit of a cage around them? What might happen with those pigs? What is this place? It is a corral. Horses run in the corral. Hmm, he looks like he's having fun. What is this place? It is a garden. Vegetables grow in the garden. And it's a really good thing that we have people who grow food in the countryside because otherwise we wouldn't have anything to eat. So I want you to think of some of your favorite vegetables. I know I really like lettuce and I really, really like peppers too. What is this place? It is an orchard apples grow in the orchard. Have any of you ever picked apples before? What is this place? It is a farm. It is in the country. So now I want you to really think when you are in the countryside, which hopefully all of you have visited some country areas at one point in your life, what is something that you like to do in the country? And I'm gonna have you pause this video so that you can get a piece of paper and a pencil, and you are going to write this sentence. 
when I'm in the country, I like to, and you're going to fill in the blank with your very own words. And when you go to write your sentence, first graders, I want you to make sure that you have a capital letter at the beginning and a period at the end, or maybe even an exclamation mark if you're really excited about it. And when you're all finished, don't forget to reread your sentence and then add a beautiful picture at the bottom that matches your sentence. When you're all done, you can unpause this video. All right, my friends, now that you have written about the countryside and drawn a really special picture, since we learned about the country, I want you to put your hands up in the air like you have a lasso, and I want you to say, yee-haw, yee-haw, because you've done such a great job. Wonderful first grade, and I will see you tomorrow again, and we can learn about some more fun things. Bye.